not so we would be talking you might be having some knowledge on basic or you are working on already powershell where you you know that is in what is powershell why we need it but where we need it to use a powershell windows powershell commands and syntax most of the important right we would be understanding the syntax how we can use it ultimately you are in a cloud azure administrator you are in a different administrator the respect to terminology we would need a commandlet each commandlet what are the syntax what are the parameter what are the variables we need to use it that is we will be talking about in windows powershell commands and syntax powershell script security how you wanted to access or how you wanted to manage your script to be secure way and default you won't be able to execute a script so the execution policy is restricted for you so you will be changing to that is in remote sign to execute the script and we would be having a small demo for the command line demo uh, command line and uh, you can write the script small small we will talk about if time is persist so powershell script and use cases normally you know that right? so whenever we are supporting that infrastructure side right they they will ask you can you please get me the report how many users are in this group active directory group or the suddenly there is a p1 right there is a p1 you are in the call application team saying i need to be have a you know quickly with the, the the name of the folder should be created under 100 machines it's a instant and we need to support immediately there is no time we, we should not go manually and you know to do the activity and if someone ask you due to the patch deployment there are multiple services are stopped for multiple machines we would immediately take action to start the services on multiple servers so such requirement we would have a enough confident to manage it and handle it such scenario right such an environment so we have in a environment multiple automation tool where we are doing for which is comparing with in ansible and powershell and python how you want it to be managed and we would be also talking about which is the best one right so you know that powershell why we need it right powershell is a powerful command line shell and scripting language primarily designed for the system this is a designed from the microsoft for the system administrator in windows environment earlier this is made for the only microsoft products but now it's a cross platform you can also manage for other uh, you know cross platform is non microsoft windows so basically provides a command line interface where users can execute commands perform administrative task and automate the task using script simple right so when you talk about automation powershell allows the automation repetitive task making uh, it easier to manage and maintain systems script can be created to perform tasks such as a system configuration file management user management so whenever some management task reporting part right so this powershell would help you 100% so where we need to use a powershell powershell all the administrator windows server active directory office 65 cloud server right De uh, you no know, deployment configurations networking database vmware no matter which administrator you are when you talk about automations we would need for this powershell right so every administrator must use the powershell for the automations you are storage administrator backup administrator server administrator this central powershell is a backbone of for all the you know environment automations we would but only we need to have who are the automation administrator right who are going to the uh, automations he should aware about if you are using the back backup you would be having the backup commandlet backup things whenever you doing the manual manual work and relative to commandlet has to be there the respective module has to be installed by default you won't be able to having those respective commandlet so those are all you are going to learn how we need to implement for my you know backup related storage related right and the security related so you will all going to learn from this in this training right so mithil can you please go and mute okay guys just don't unmute from yourself because it is getting you know disturbance for when i talking so if you have any questions please raise your hand then i can able to answer you abhishek can you have any question i uh, no okay i am going to mute you okay right so yeah we were talking about these are very basic level which importance of the powershell right where we need to use it say as i said right we need to say creating one folder you know app db in the application team is asking in multiple servers add a registry key to multiple remote servers. these are all day to day requirement there are you know due to some patch deployment one of the registry key has corrupted 
but we want it immediately replaced for the multiple machines. If you go and log into the uh, log into the machine or log into server and do the activity, it would take more time, right? If it is doing the same work to the around 100 machines or 200 machines, it would be highly impossible for the manual work, right? So we need to plan for smart way and automation way. We need to think about this, right? So if we need to running the services multiple servers, there was service stopped. So we need to start immediately. There is impact. There's a business impact. Some application service, you know, production and environment service was stopped and uh, due to unexpected rebooted. So we need to start those service, services. So again, some activity related, more disabled users in OU. These are all use cases where we can implement it. So once you know the fundamental of the PowerShell, right, you will be able to handle it. So how that actually works in the structure of the PowerShell, right? First, most important, you need to learn from the commandlet structure. What is a commandlet? How do you find the commandlet? These are all very, very basic and begin with your journey. If you know this terminology, right, which is using help command let update help parameters variable, it's a high level recommended to know in depth. Then after knowing for this topic, right, these are the terminology, command let structure using help, update help parameter variable, then you will be able to handle what are the terminology, what are the command let, what are the variables they have declared or they have updated. So might be some senior senior team, they have provided you script to you to execute it, but blindly, instead of blindly executing the script, we can think about, we can read the script from top to bottom, no matter how many lines they have written, but we should be able to understand what the script is doing. So when we understand that, when you understand this concept, okay, so what are, what do you mean by parameter? How do, they, how do they define the parameter? What are the variables? right how they are using the brackets how they are using for the you know looping statement so those we will be understanding in in details so when you talk about commandlet structure it's a verb and non format always it will uh, give you the you know after seeing that is in name you can say that this is a commandlet so example it is it is separated by dash you can say the get hyphen help or get hyphen process or start hyphen service it's a always is a format of verb and noun, right? You can also have that is an aliases with the directly can be used it. But most of the script you have seen that is in with the proper command structure. It is very simple where we have already used in a command prompt, right? Command, command prompt for the day to day activity. Uh, we will go into the command prompt and we are, we are uh, typing the commands directly services.msc, ipconfig, ncpa.cpl. But how differ comparatively with the commandlet, commandlet and commands. We know the commands we are executing directly, but commandlet with the verb and non format. So how it is happening here? Say, for example, if you go to the PowerShell, basically PowerShell has the four console. Okay. So let me just save as this file. I'm just creating this month of April folder. Right. Right. See the command let is, I just said that is in verb by non format. What do you mean by verb by non format here? Always with your, say for example, get hyphen command. This is the first a command. I don't know that any of the command in my, my PowerShell. So basically PowerShell has a four console. Number one is you have that is in, that is divided into two direct console and ISC console. In a direct, you have two type of console, which is called as a 32 bit and 64 bit. And same thing for ISC 32 bit and 64 bit, right? 
Now, if you click on this, you will start. If you scroll down here, there is a folder called as a PowerShell. And you see this. Windows PowerShell. You will be seeing this here, four console. So Windows PowerShell and Windows PowerShell x86. x86 indicates for the 32-bit. And without x86, it's a 64-bit direct console. And again, Windows PowerShell ISE is a 64-bit. And x86 is a 32-bit. Basically, two type of PowerShell console. And each type, they have a divided into 64-bit and 32-bit. If you go to the direct console for the 64-bit, right? This is a blue color background you might have seen that is in when you are doing the activity, right? So I don't know the command let anything. So how do I find my command list, require command let, right? The first command is you see this get hyphen command. You have to start with like that for anything you wanted to do, you must find that is a relevant command. You, you are not finding your relevant command, command let, you won't be able to do anything. The first start with the command let, and then each command let, you should find your parameter. And each parameter, how do you declare what kind of value or what kind of input you need to supply? And then you should get the result. This is how the hierarchy you have to plan for that. If you see this in my PowerShell console, if I type the get hyphen command, you will see that is in all the default command let can able to give the result. But same things, if you are find in your system, you will also get some many command let, but is a count of the command let each operating system is different, right? If you see in my system, if I go to the get hyphen command, if I ask you the count of this command, it will give the some numbers. And for you also, it will give the sum number and it will be difference, right? It's a changes, the number changes based on the operating system and what module you have installed in our operating system. So ultimately the first most important, we need to find that is in command let. Say for example, I wanted to find the service related command let. I don't know anything about. Say win RM service, I need to check in my system, right? How do I find it? I don't know the command let. It's a very simple get hyphen command. There is a by default all the commands, but I wanted to search this my required service. What would be the service command let? You can search like that with the using wildcard entry. You can say star say service. Anything you are you don't know the command let, right? You can see this command let, which is all the command let. Inside that, I wanted to find that my relevant command let service. The star we call as in a wildcard. Right, star indicate we call as a wildcard. See this how we are going to find it. Now these are all command let in my system, right? If I ask you how many counts are there, get hyphen command dot count. It will show you the number of command let, how many are there in your operating system. Then you can also check it from your machine, your uh, laptop, right? How many are there? And due to it will, the number would be changing from your operating system and my operating system. You can see the 11,792 command lets are there. You will be having some difference because I have installed multiple modules and those modules command let would be added here. So this is first journey how to start with this. Now I wanted to check my command let for the service. How do I find it? Get hyphen command is a common for all the command let. Sorry, who is this? Anyone has any questions so far? Anyone has any questions? I know. Good. Right. See this. This is just you need to understand that get hyphen command. I wanted to find that my service related. How do I start searching for my relevant command let? I can go with my wildcard entry service. Right. And you see this many command lets are there. Again, I'm, I'm uh, no out of this. It will be difficult to find it. But 
always you should remember whenever we get some information right for the details always you use a get is one of the verb format so you can use a smarter way i know the get for the common i would use like that get is a common and with start service i can use it you can use it for get is a common star and see this name of the service see here get is a common the service you are looking for right so in this we would be getting for the verb and noun format services name do you find the service name here do you find the what is me required the service name the relevant name this you can see the all the command line right but we won't see that name of the what we are looking right see the again you are going to use it for the command it is get iphone command you can use it for service the actual command is service for get iphone service but when you find that get hyphen service is command let right get hyphen service is a command let you got it hyphen service it's a verb in format so what is this command let does right how do i use it this command let so i don't know anything about of this what parameter or what are the syntax how i can use it all this you should be you should be using for you should asking for to help to the powershell so how how do i start my journey the each command let each this is a command let right each command let there is a default terminology we should find that is in parameter and what are the syntax we use it and what are the full detail of this to check this you can ask help to powershell again so i don't know that is how do i ask to the help powershell right each command let each command let to get more information we must ask help to powershell that is you can use it for the command let called as a get hyphen help so this is a command let so if you ask to the powershell get hyphen help my command let get hyphen service get hyphen help and get hyphen service if you ask the powershell it will give you the complete detail say for example now i have the command let i wanted to ask to the powershell get hyphen service and sometime you see this is the most important first step to see this all the information but you did not get the full information of name of the command let what is the synapses it says and what are the syntax this is the most important heart of the powershell to understand this would help you to this command let how do you use it get hyphen services parameter called as a computer name hyphen computer name wherever you see the hyphen of each command let right hyphen of each command let each command let under the syntax if you see this hyphen we call as a parameter and how do we use a parameter and each parameter each parameter we need to provide the values right you need to supply you need to supply the inputs those identifying which you have the string you have the integer right what you mean by string and integer here now see this an example this is the first step you need to read it computer name is a parameter and it's asking the string you need to provide your string values hyphen dependency services is a parameter hyphen display name is a parameter and you are you are supplying the input we need to provide the values to get the result hyphen exclude 
is a parameter. Each command let how many parameters parameters are there and how do I use it. And I would need for the full information of this command let how it's we can use it. This information should be get updated. It means if you are typing in your system, if you are not getting this kind of full information, it means your PowerShell console must update. Must update. The update means, update means what? You need to your PowerShell repository, repository has to be update. It is going to connect with the Microsoft PowerShell gallery. Then all the command lets should be get updated. That is called as a update hyphen help. So this is a second step for the important to understanding to start your journey. If you are not getting the full information of because always when we do for, you know, automation work, our command let should give the full information. What are the syntax? What are the description? What are the related link? And what are the examples? If I go and ask to this full right to PowerShell, each command let it will give that result. Say for example, get hyphen help and get hyphen service. I say full. It will give the complete example with example and with you know how do we use it, right? See this get hyphen services, WMI. It will take the example all the service on the computer. Get hyphen service. It gives the all the services detail. Get hyphen service display name network. You see, I wanted to check. It's giving you that is in star which is wildcard. It means both the side they have given the star wherever it is network sees, then it should give the result. Say for example, if I take this get hyphen service hyphen display name is a parameter. Then I am looking for that is in all the network related display name, all the network related. It should give the display. See display name and both the side you put the star. It means wherever the network shows either it is start either is end either it is anywhere. So I would need for the all the display name network related. The same things you wanted to start with network. Start with means you, you need to put the star in the end. Your display name start with network. I don't want with anywhere to see the network. It should give the only start with to do that. Then you should be ending with this network ending ending with the star right now. See this you will be seeing the start with all the network display name. And same things I wanted to end with network. Then you should give the star. It is starting. This is a wildcard functionality. So we would be talking about more detail later how you need to use this wildcard. There is a three a dimension of to using the wildcard. One is the wherever it is you have the word, then you can get it. That is called the both the side star. And you wanted to use for the start with, then use for the star end. And you wanted to use end with the network, then you should use the start. It's the opposite of this. So there is no result of this. Only you have a result of this network is a anywhere you wanted to see the network. You can use a both this both the side star and you wanted to you want to check with the start with network. You can use the end with star. This is a one of the small example where the help is given the information, right? So same things you would be seeing that many things get hyphen services when RM required services. Right. If I ask you that is in, I need for all the services are running. Only I need for the running sister services. Right. So when you go and type the get hyphen service, you will see that is in all the services in your in your in your laptop. Right. See this running stopped and all these things. But in this, I would oh. need for. Sorry. Yogendra, anyone has questions? Okay, now in these services, I would need for the only you know running status. How do I use it? So we have seen the display name, right? Directly we gave the display name. Display name is a parameter. If I wanted to ask for the PowerShell, okay, one of the tech example of our APPX SVC. Okay, copy this. I wanted to check the status of get hyphen service. The parameter called as a name and I'll give this result and it will give that is in what is the service status. 
right but in this both we understood that is a display name of the one of the parameter hyphen display name is one of the parameter hyphen name is one of the parameter same things i would need for in overall all the services i would need for the only running status how do i get it so first most first most important you need to look into that is parameter is there or not right get hyphen service get hyphen help get hyphen service right i use equal okay just you can see this so you have used for the name right display name you have used it and you have give the string value and name you have used it gave that is in one of the service name right same things if i ask you that questions i need all the services are running how do i use it can anyone tell me it will give the everything result here only just so only we should have some logic or <clears throat> we should understand the some terminology how i can use it what would be the parameter if i ask you for the start and running i would need only running what would be the parameter i can use it status so status do, do i see the status in my parameter or can i use it like that get hyphen service get hyphen the... service uh, status. hyphen status running i can see the running right yes so do i get result yes see that error what is getting here uh, the status parameter is not found so parameter status can't be used correct so now we should also understand that <clears throat> in get hyphen help we use we get it of the command let get hyphen services we will be getting limited parameter information but how do i use it my status status is not there so remember whichever command let you does not see the required properties we also call as a properties we also call as a header we also call as a parameter right if does not see in the default syntax where we ask the help right we must use what is called pipeline operator we must use a pipeline operator so how do i use it you see this get hyphen help so get hyphen service see the important here we need to understand that we can see this name and display name here but status also we can see there but we can easily or directly use a hyphen name we can directly use a display name but we can't use a status why because this status is not available in the default do you see the status here get hyphen help get hyphen service do you see the status here no we see the computer name we see the dependent services we see the display name we see the exclude right important whichever a parameter whichever properties or header does not have a default under the syntax we must use a pipeline how do i use a pipeline get hyphen service pipeline <clears throat> we will talk about the more detail when we actual class started right so you should be using for where hyphen object and you can tell that is in a script block dollar underscore we will tell that we will discuss about how you are going to use status equal to we will be looking for running see this you are getting all the services are running status here so how do i how do i understood that how do i know this right we use a pipeline operator but what do you mean by where hyphen object what do you mean by this bracket what do you mean by dollar underscore status status is one of the header status is one of the properties right and uh, 
it is dot means what is denoting to the go there it is it is a you know uh, identifying which property we are looking for that right so in this mechanism in this terminology the pipeline it is giving you that is in a next commandlet overall this is the commandlet all the services pipeline is using for to informing the next commandlet you are the commandlet is telling here go there where here and find find telling to the dot you go there and what is the dot is identifying here status then you are looking for the equal running so equal running first after that is you are running for you know how is exactly work what would be the dollar underscore here so if this script when i say this get hyphen mm -hmm. service right mm -hmm. see the all the services right the logic is based on your first command let it is going to check you the first one it is stopped it won't consider correct second one is checked stopped not consider third fourth not consider fourth one is yes status is equal to running consider but still it is not complete the execution script it has to go to the next one correct so meanwhile i need to keep somewhere this running running one right so to keeping our temporarily buffer that is called as a dollar underscore so first it is validated it has got that information and keep into the dollar underscore temporarily buffer then it would check the next one it is not there this is not considered again it's next not considered and yes it's considered it will keep the buffer until it's the last status it is going to validate it and then once it is completed right last step then no more now not, now it's checking for it's nothing is there to check and it will give the result from the dollar underscore where it is stored right so this is how the logic is working behind so same things if i wanted to check event log i need a system system event log in my system or one of the server so you have seen that you were troubleshooting i would need for that is in you know uh, the event log error from the system so how do i don't want to go to the server login and check the event viewer and see the system but i wanted to check from the powershell but i don't know the command let what would be the command let first you need to uh -huh. find the command let second you need to find the parameter yeah and then you can start working on this correct so how how do i get it what would be the command let first get uh, event log windows is event log that is okay we don't so know you that you are calling you are calling event log through get command but we don't know the what would be the command let but can we ask to the command let which is event log like that right yes. it might yes. be that is windows event or event log we don't know that mm -hmm. right Can I ask to the PowerShell to the get hyphen command event log? Do we get the command like here? Give get hyphen event log, right? Mm -hmm. And I don't know that any of the syntax. How do I check it? I can ask get hyphen help, get hyphen event log. Not event. You can say event log, right? Now see this. I would get that is in all the related here, event log. this event log i got that is in for your parameter your parameter so what is the parameter i'm looking what is the uh, information i'm looking for here system log right system mm -hmm. event log then how do i find it my system log what would be the relevant parameter i should use it get hyphen get hyphen event log event log yeah parameter get hyphen event log get hyphen event log Parameter uh, log name. Command let. Log a, name. Okay. So log name. So you can see the first parameter we got to know this log name, right? So now say get hyphen event log is a, my command let. Parameter is a log name. And what is the log you are looking here? I am looking for. It is giving you system start yeah. thing. It means I am looking for system. I can say system. Do you see? my all the systems logs i'm getting 
but same things you see there's a bulk there are all the information is giving again i would need for this system event log i would from the last week to i need system event log you can take example i need for only error log i need for only error system log can i get it how do i use it see these are all many services many event log is coming i don't need this but in this i would need for find only for error log so can i get rele relevant informations which we needed from the powershell how do i find it can i can i check with my relevant uh, command let is there or not or parameter is there or not can you find it anyone i need for only error log what would be the relevant i need all the uh yes okay uh, we can use the entry good. type perfect see that entry type is error right now i would be using get hyphen event log log name is system i am looking for the parameter called as a entry, entry type, type and i am looking for error see i am looking for only error and i would need this error there is a issue occurred for an yesterday or you can say issue is occurred from the a uh, 3rd of april i would need for the only from 3rd of april to till today can i get it oh uh, yes let's see this again for the were you know help and find it relevant see this can we have a relevant command let here we got to know the hyphen log name is a parameter we got to know the hyphen entry type do we have the parameter called as a hyphen after and hyphen before after this after yes. and before yeah can i use it for this as i said i would need for the 3rd april to till today i don't need for all the error the issue is occurred on 3rd of april and within that what are the error log occurred i would need to see this without logging to the server so i can say same things entry type is error then what is that after after, after. after. parameter Second. 3rd april so 3rd april you see this 4 03 2024 2024 before then, hyphen before hyphen before then it would be today 04 yeah 04 can i get it getting my point here everything is available in my powershell correct yes or right. no ah so, uh, yes ultimately the requirement we understood the first most important is get the command let find the relevant find the relevant what is that parameter find and you can start working on that and if sometime that parameter is not available we would use a pipeline but this is just for the one class in the last 15 minute we are using for 45 minute we are using we understood this the logic we understood right now take one example say for example here right we understood this pipeline operator all these things right verb and noun format we understood here and uh, these are all verb noun syntax we understood now parameter get hyphen service hyphen name right which is we understood for that you know the wild card how do you use it there is get hyphen help command common commands where we are using for right get hyphen member get hyphen command so always this is one of the help important the help is giving you you know your uh, every command let has to be update the repository so for that you would asking to the help in a powershell get hyphen help if it is not giving you full information you should go with the update hyphen help right in help we have a two topic actually 
So one is you're directly using the get hyphen help, and sometime you wanted to give the some more detail for the each topic. Say for example, I asked you pipeline operator. So then I would ask get hyphen help about underscore pipeline operator about underscore parameter each topic it will give the result right you can use it this is we will be talking about when actual class is started how to use it for detailed manner in the help updating right this is update help so parameter we discussed right the name of the parameter is preceded with the preceded with the hyphen which signals right to powershell to the world following hyphen is a parameter name the parameter name and value can be separated by a space or a call and character some parameter do, do not require accept the parameter value other parameter require a value so we understood this get hyphen event log this is one of the parameter and we use that is in a log name and we use that is in uh, uh, other parameter like the entry type we use for that is in uh, before and after so there is a mandatory parameter also there and optional parameter used there right we will talk about there is the indicating for the bracket in the one square bracket you see this all both the parameter and value this is kind of parameter we call as optional hey guys can you please go and mute krishna okay so we will be discussing how do you identify you see this your parameter within this within the square box and then your value is separate but here you see this both the value and your parameter only in a within the square box so such parameter we call as a optional such parameter we call as a positional we will be talking about in detail when we actual class started from the next week so same things variable we will see this topic in variable to how do you save the file right how do you declare the file so that is a variable in a powershell we call as a we would be using for the dollar right dollar uh, you will be give the any name either you can give that you wanted to save the number you wanted to save that is in a you know text anything you wanted to a variable is a unit of memory in which values are stored so dollar name equal to neil so when you type the dollar name or name you can it will give the result of that dollar number if you type the number there and you can declare that variable it will give that is in say here dollar my variable equal to 1 2 3 but when you type the my variable it give the result it's a temporarily store in your that variable it's a declare some value variable right values so dollar f underscore name it's a first name johan dollar last underscore name it's a last name so whichever detail you wanted to save temporarily in the declaring the value and you, you can use this you know variable that variable indicating we call as a dollar right and whatever you are typing in the variable dollar msg hello right and the dollar f name and dollar l name so it will give that is in hello john is the first name and last name is is given you result right it is a very straight forward and easy method when you understood that logic of the powershell and i'm sure you would be able to handle your own you know uh, automations requirement so same things we have discussed if i wanted to check for all the installed patches we don't know that is in command let how do i get it get hyphen command get hyphen command and see this there is a a command called as a hotfix the get is a common hotfix but we got to know that is in command let called as a hotfix now again each command let we can ask the help to the command let so that help it will help it will give the result for that is in each command let all the same text right now in script when you're talking about the script right we discussed uh, please find the, all the logs from the windows event weaver application log we discussed in a system log we got to know the get hyphen event log hyphen log name system and hyphen uh, entry type is error and hyphen after what was the date and after before hyphen before and uh, till what date you wanted to the simple one please find the only error log we got to know right application log please find